Praise the Lord and greetings. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, good morning, afternoon, evening. Amen. Whatever time of the day it may be for you. Amen. We thank the Lord for another day that he has made and woke us up. Clothed in our right minds. He has blessed us to see another day in the land of the living. Amen. Myself, amen, including all of you who are tuning in through the live stream, whether you're saved or whether you're not yet saved, the Lord has still been good to us all because the Bible says that he caused his reign to, amen, fall on the just as well as the unjust. Amen. He is good to the unthankful, the unholy and evil as well as the good. So that's the type of God that we serve, one that loves us all. And that's why he gave his only begotten son, amen, the word of God says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, amen. That's what Jesus did because he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, or in other words, his very own self. Because in the sense of God, the term son does not mean a second person or individual or amen, separate being that he created. Praise God. The term son is none other than God himself becoming a human being. That was God's human nature. That was God's human flesh and blood body. Because if you read the word of God in the gospel according to St. John chapter 1, we can just, amen, turn there to further prove our point. I know some of you who've been uh, tuning in to the live stream broadcast may say to yourself, he goes to John chapter 1 a lot. Amen. Well, the reason why, because, you know, uh, specifically in the religious world, amen, so-called Christian churches, this is... One of the very chapters that they uh, either overlook or they read it without understanding. So, you know, the false prophet, you know, he preach it without understanding, teach it without understanding, or just don't go over it at all. Amen. Because he's a blind God. The Bible says, if the blind shall lead the blind, they both shall fall into the ditch. Amen. He don't know the word himself, so that's why he's out teaching that there is a trinity, three in a Godhead, and Got other false prophets teaching that there is two in the Godhead. And, you know, and then, of course, Catholics, they teach that there is uh, as many as four in the Godhead, including Mary as the mother of God. And, you know, and all of the other, amen, disciples is uh, worthy of worship and veneration, amen, including, amen, false popes and priests, amen. Praise God. One of the most blasphemous religions on the face of the planet, amen, Roman Catholicism. But, Amen. But hallelujah, we serve a God that would not have us to be ignorant of the devil's devices. Amen. Praise God. And so we thank God for the truth. Amen. It has made me free. Amen. It has made my wife free. And for those of you who are tuning in, amen, who have obeyed this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, have, amen, praise God, repented of your sins and been born again of the water and of the spirit baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and baptized with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It made you free as well. Amen. And we thank God for that freedom and for that liberty which we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. Free from sin. Amen. Free from, amen, walking in darkness. Free from being bound and enslaved by the devil. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because, hey, Jesus Christ, he wants us to have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So the book or the gospel according to St. John chapter 1, verse 1, <clears throat> and it reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. So it makes it very plain. In the beginning was the Word. That's capital W. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Amen. So not only was it with God, but the word was God. No difference between God and his word. Amen. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. 
all things were made by him. Amen. Just one, amen, singular term, amen, him, H-I-M, not them, not multiple, amen, but all things were made by him, and without him, amen, speaking of the word, speaking of God, was not anything made that was made, amen, and for those of us who memorize, amen, Genesis 1 and 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, he said God created the heavens and the earth. Amen. So, praise God. Hallelujah. No contradiction here. Amen. That's why verse 3 said, all things were made by him. Amen. Because God made everything. Amen. Praise God. He made everything through his word. That's how God created things. Amen. That's how he spoke things into existence. Amen. He spoke it through his word. That is just how powerful our God is. The true God. Amen. The God that most of the world is not serving. Though you have many millions and, amen, millions of folk that's lying, that's claiming to be Christians and claiming to be in the religion of Christianity, amen, they're not a true servant of Jesus Christ because they're not as the disciples, amen, in the church of old did, praise God, amen. The gospel hasn't changed, amen, praise God, but you have false prophets coming up with a new gospel, a new doctrine saying, well, Acts 2.38 is not relevant today. All you have to do is just bow your head and repeat after me a sinner's prayer. Uh, amen. Put your name on the membership roll and now you're part of the church. Amen. Praise God. I, I see that nowhere in this Bible. Amen. If you're reading, amen, from the King James Version, Holy Bible, amen, you will find that nowhere in the scriptures. Amen. Sinner's prayer is a straight up lie of the devil. Amen. Put your name on a membership roll is a lie of the devil. Amen. Praise God. It is not in the Bible. Amen. Praise God. Because the Bible says it's not the hearers, amen, of the law that are justified, but the doers of the law. Amen. You must come by the same way. Otherwise, you will not enter into the kingdom of God. So back to John chapter 1. We're still in John chapter 1. said, all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him, amen, speaking of God, speaking of the word, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Amen. Let us skip down a few verses here. Amen. Verse 10. So John chapter 1, verse 10. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. Amen. Speaking of God, saying he was in the world. And the world was made by him. Amen. The world, this planet earth was made by God. Amen. Praise God. It was made by the word. It was made by God's word. Amen. Capital W. No difference between God and his word as we see here. Amen. Praise God. Uh, verse 1. He was in the world, and the world was made or created by him, and the world knew him not. Speaking of those, amen, inhabitants of the planet, amen, they had no clue, amen, no idea that the very one that created this world, amen, praise God, was in the world himself as a man. Praise God. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. He came into the nation of Israel. He was born as a baby. Amen. Praise God. So the Spirit of God, amen, to, amen, the nation of Israel. And after living 33 years as a man, amen, most of the Jews, of course, we, amen, no, amen, they rejected him as the Messiah. Amen. Praise God. They didn't receive him. Amen. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Amen. Only the Almighty can give us power to become the sons of God. Amen. Even to them that believe on his name. Amen. So that's one thing that you, hallelujah, must make clear here. You must believe on his name. In order to become a son of God or a daughter of God. 
Amen. And that's the problem today. Most of these so-called, amen, Christian churches don't believe on Jesus' name. Even though they may speak it, amen, and false prophet preach on it and, you know, talk about Jesus and talk about God and, you know, things of that nature. But when it comes to water baptism, amen, he don't use the name of Jesus Christ. Most false prophets, amen, they use the Trinitarian method, amen. They, uh, you know, justify, amen, baptizing in titles based on Matthew 28, 19. Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah. Father is not a name. Son is not a name. Holy Ghost is not a name. Amen. Praise God. Jesus is the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. John chapter 5, verse 43. Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. Behold, if another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The name of the Son is Jesus. Amen. Name. N-A-M-E. Name. Amen. Matthew 1, 21. And thou shalt bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. False prophet. Don't believe in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why he don't baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. He baptized in the title. Amen. I now baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christian, amen, you must believe on the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You must come out of that false church. Amen. Hallelujah. That you are associated with. Amen. That you're paying your tithes and offerings to, amen, you must come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, amen, and in your case, stop touching the unclean thing, stop going to that unclean ministry, amen, that unclean church, amen, praise God, and God will receive you, amen, so back to John chapter 1, verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And here we go, verse 14. And the word, amen, who we praise God, recognize is God. And the word was made flesh. Amen. So God was made flesh. So the spirit put on a human being, flesh and blood body. Amen. Not created a second person that he called his son, but amen. The very God that created the heavens and the earth became flesh, became a man. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. Dwelt among humanity. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah. Amen. Those at that time, they beheld him as the only begotten. Amen. So, that's the only, amen, body. Amen. Praise God that God wrapped his spirit in. Amen. Praise God that God created Amen. To put the fullness of his spirit, amen, to dwell in. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was the flesh and blood body of God. Not a second person in the Godhead. Amen. Because there is no Trinity. There is no two in the Godhead, three in the Godhead. There is only one God and one Lord. Amen. Praise God. That's why, amen, the children of Israel was exhorted. Amen. Hear ye, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Amen. And that's why Ephesians 4 and 5 said there is one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, one God and Father. God obeyed Acts 2.38. Amen. Praise God. It was written to them who have already obeyed Acts 2.38, who have already repented of their sins and been baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And living a holy life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is step one. 
amen, through obeying the gospel. You must, amen, be born again of the water and of the spirit, amen. You must repent and be baptized in water, in the actual name, the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in water, amen, by a true man of God, your sins have not been remitted. Amen. Praise God. You are still in your sins. Amen. Your sins are still upon you. Amen. Praise God. It makes no difference if you supposedly claim to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you have the Holy Ghost and you... If you supposedly have the Holy Ghost and you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, it's something wrong with that spirit. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of truth. It will lead and guide you into all truth and in all righteousness. It will bear witness to the truth. Amen. And the truth will make you free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. There's something wrong with a person's spirit. Amen. Claim that they have the Holy Ghost, but they don't believe in baptism in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the wrong spirit. That ain't holy. Amen. It's unholy. Amen. Praise God. That's the spirit of error. Amen. Praise God. You must repent from the spirit of error. Amen. And repent of everything else you need to repent of. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And ask God for godly sorrow. Amen. Plead to God for some godly sorrow. Amen. A sorrow that comes from God because godly sorrow will work repentance unto salvation. Amen. Not to be repented of. Amen. You will turn from sin and be through with sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. You will have no longer a desire to go back to those things. Amen. No longer will have a desire to go back to drinking and smoking and having sex outside the bonds of marriage. Amen. And clubbing and Amen. Getting high. Amen. And lying and stealing. Amen. Being a thief. Amen. Being dishonest. Amen. Those prophets are telling you today. Amen. So many of them will say, well, you don't have to live right. Amen. You don't have to, amen, do this and that. You can still have fun and do what you want to do and somehow think that you're going into God's kingdom? Amen. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Amen. For someone, for people who have prepared themselves. Amen. For people who have denied themselves, took up their crosses and followed Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And hell Amen. It's a prepared place for people who have prepared themselves. Amen. Praise God. Hell in the lake of fire is a place for those who, amen, want to keep on sinning and grinning and, amen, living a righteous life, amen, and died in their sins. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's exactly where your soul is going if you die in your sins, if you refuse to Amen. To turn away from the practice of your sin. Amen. And serve the Lord Jesus Christ. You are going straight to hell fire. Amen. And then you will be cast into the lake of fire on judgment day. Amen. The Bible says that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Don't fool yourself thinking that you can live any old kind of way and still be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you, amen, the word is right. Amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. You're not going to hear this at no mega church, amen, praise God, because the false prophet, amen, he's more concerned about your money, amen, than about your soul, amen, praise God. Teaching tithes, amen, praise God. Tithes, amen, is not a New Testament teaching, amen, praise God. Tithes, amen, was only for the Jews, under the law of Moses, under the old covenant, amen, and it had nothing to do with currency, it had nothing to do with money at all, amen, praise the Lord, it was only, amen, crops and livestock, amen, agricultural goods, amen, praise God, that the Jewish nation of Israel, amen, and praise God, you had to be a Levite, priest, amen, only Levites, priests, 
praise God, were authorized to receive tithes from the other 11 tribes of Israel. Amen. Not Gentiles. Amen. It was never to a Gentile. Amen. It was only to Jews under the law of Moses. Amen. Praise God. So that is false doctrine today. Amen. Because there is no command. Amen. To follow. Amen. That mosaic ordinance. Amen. Of tithing. Amen. That is not New Testament doctrine. Amen. That is false doctrine. Amen. Praise God that men that are greedy or filthy lucre will teach you. Amen. Praise God. The word of God in the New Testament saying, let every man give as God has prospered him, not grudgingly nor of necessity for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. So whatever you purpose in your own heart, so let you give. Amen. So whatever amount or percentage that it be, amen. Praise God. You ought to give as God prosper you freely. Amen. And cheerfully. Amen. Praise God. Not a 10% mandatory standard. Amen. Nowhere in the New Testament scriptures. It's not even in the Old Testament scriptures. Amen. Because it wasn't money. Amen. It was crops and livestock. Amen. Praise God. And it was only for the Jews. Amen. Not for Gentiles. Amen. So, you know, amen, that teaching is false. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But thanks be unto God. Amen. Praise the Lord. He will not have us to be ignorant. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus Christ is the Lord God. Amen. He is Emmanuel. Amen. Which is interpreted God with us. Amen. Not the son of God with us, but God with us. Amen. So the term son in the Bible is in reference to, amen, God's very own human image. Amen. Human being image. Amen. Not a second person, but his very own flesh and blood image that he created for the fullness of his spirit to inhabit. Amen. Praise God. And so we thank God. Amen. For Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Putting on a body of flesh. Amen. To redeem us. Amen. Praise God. Dying on that cross. Amen. Taking upon his own body. Amen. The sins of the entire world. Amen. Becoming sin for us. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. He died on that cross. Amen. Died as a sinner. Amen. His body was buried. Amen. Praise the Lord. His spirit. Amen. Praise God. Because he was still God. Amen. Was in heaven. That's why he told the thief today you shall be with me in paradise. Amen. On the cross dying, but yet, amen, after that, amen, thief asked him, said, Lord, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. Amen. He turned to that thief and said, today you shall be with me in paradise. Amen. He didn't say you're going to be with my father in paradise. You're going to be with the Holy Ghost in paradise. He said, you're going to be with me. Amen. Because he was still the Lord God of heaven. He was still in heaven heaven at the same time because God is omnipresent. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was still in heaven and he was on the earth at the same time. On the earth as a man, but still in heaven as the almighty God. Amen. Praise God. So hallelujah. That thief died saved. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So the body of Jesus, amen, was buried. Amen. Him being God almighty was still in heaven. Amen. And his soul went to hell. Amen. In our place. Amen. Because he died his body. Amen. He took upon, amen, the sins of the whole world with his body. Amen. Praise God. He paid the blood price. Amen. On Calvary. Amen. Because only the blood of God, amen, was able to do such a thing. Amen. Was worthy enough to be accepted. Amen. To wash away our sins. Amen. And the only way that your sins will be washed away is if you are baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission <clears throat> of your sins. After you have repented and turned from your wicked ways, that is the only way the blood of Jesus Christ is applied through the name. Amen. Through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that is the only way that you will receive the power to become one of the sons of God or the offsprings of God. Amen. You must believe on his name. If you don't believe on his name to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And receive the Holy Ghost. 
amen, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as his spirit gave the utterance and live a holy life, you're on your way to hell. Amen. So just, just get ready. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, just have your fun while you can. Amen. Praise God. If you choose to reject this gospel. Amen. Praise God. But if you have, amen, better sense than that, which I'm, amen, hoping, amen, those of you who are tuning in do, amen, praise God, you will humble yourself and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Amen. So after Jesus was buried, amen, praise God, soul went to hell. Amen. Praise God. Body remained in that tomb for three days and three nights. He was then resurrected. He rose from the dead. That body got up. Amen. Praise God. He raised his own body from the dead after three days and three nights because, praise God, he said, no man take my life. He said, no man take my life. I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. Matter of fact, we, we, we can go there. Amen. Praise God. So you won't. Amen. You can see it for yourself. So that's also in the book of St. John. The gospel according to St. John, chapter 10. So, same book, chapter 10. And we will go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, O oh God, for this day that you have made. We thank you, Lord, for another live stream broadcast, O oh God, that you have blessed us, O oh God, to be a part of this day. We pray, Lord, that you will bless all those who are tuning in, O oh God. And those who will be listening in later on through the archive video message, oh God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will bless that the word falls on good ground, even unto obedience, oh God. We ask that you will continue to save and add to your church even daily, such as should be saved. Continue to bring out of darkness into your marvelous light, oh God. And we just thank you. We praise you. We bless your holy name, even the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, and hallelujah, for you are worthy to be praised. Oh, God, and we ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, John chapter 10. Amen. And we will start at verse 17. So, John chapter 10, verse 17. And this is Jesus speaking. Therefore... Doth my father love me because I lay down my life that I might take it again. So he didn't say, amen, the unbelieving Jews and the Gentiles killed me. Amen. Praise God. He said, I lay down my life. In other words, he gave it up. Amen. He laid it down freely. Amen. Willingly. Amen. And that is the same thing when it comes to us. Amen. We must willingly lay down our lives. Amen. You must willingly lay down your life. Amen. Lay down your life. Amen. Of sinning. Praise God. Of Amen. Practicing sin. Amen. You must willingly make a choice. Amen. To put a stop to that lifestyle if you want to be saved. Amen. I had to lay down my life of sin in this world. Amen. Praise God. I had to give up the habits that I was once in. Amen. Thank God it's been, amen, so many years ago now. Amen. Praise God. I thank God he saved me at a young age. Amen. Praise God. 21 years old. Amen. Praise the Lord. I made a choice. I say I am through with this world. Amen. Because it is not worth me spending an eternity in a lake of fire. Amen. Over temporary pleasure. Amen. Praise God. In diverse lusts. Amen. Praise the Lord. I had to stop my habits. Praise God. I had to repent of my sins. Amen. Praise the Lord. As he told, amen, the woman that was caught in the act of adultery, he said, go and sin no more. Amen. Praise God. That's one simple definition of repentance. Amen. Going and sin no more. Amen. Praise the Lord. Stop fornicating. Amen. And fornicate no more. Amen. Stop smoking and smoke no more. 
Amen. Stop shacking up and shack up no more. Praise God. If you, amen, love that person, amen, you need to marry them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' name, you need a husband, you need a wife. Amen. Not a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Amen. The Bible says, whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Amen. That is not of God. Amen. It makes no difference. Amen. What the world say. Amen. God says it's still wrong. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know this is 2015 where, you know, according to the world, just about anything goes. Amen. Praise God. Passing laws and saying it's all right for two men and two women, the so-called, amen, come together in a union and call it a marriage when the Bible says that, praise God, abuses of themselves when mankind have no inheritance in the kingdom of God, that that is abomination, amen, praise God. That's not a marriage, amen, that's an abomination, amen, praise God. God made them male and female, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. Only a man, one man and one woman can come together, and that is called a marriage, amen, when they get married, amen, rightly in the sight of God, amen, praise God. But two women, two women come together and or two men come together and say, we want to be married. Nah, that's, that's foolishness. Amen. That is demonic. Amen. It is not of God. God does not recognize that as a marriage. He recognized that as filth. Amen. Praise God and abominable. Amen. Praise the Lord because it is unnatural. Bible says it is against nature. Amen. Praise God. But hallelujah. Amen. But praise be unto God. Amen. For those of you, amen, who are shacking up. Amen. Man and woman shacking up. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone need to leave the house. Amen. Praise God. Y'all need to separate because you're not married. Amen. You in sin. Amen. Doesn't matter how many years you've been together. Amen. Man been shacking up for, amen, 10, 20 years, 30 years. Amen. Never praise the Lord. Never got married. Never put it on paper. Amen. Praise God. Even if you go to the justice of the peace. Amen. Praise God. And get married in the courthouse. Amen. God still honors that. Amen. Praise God. If you're one man and you're one woman saying, well, you know, we want this thing to be right. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's better. Amen. Than what you're doing right now. Amen. Because you're in fornication right now. Amen. Praise God. One heartbeat away from hell. Amen. If you were to die. Amen. Praise God. Because no fornicator is going into God's kingdom. Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah, you don't have to, amen, wait to have an extravagant wedding, amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, you go to the justice of the peace, amen, praise God, hallelujah, amen, put it on paper, amen, praise God, hallelujah, because that is still honorable in the sight of God, amen, God honors that, amen, you come together, amen, praise God, hallelujah, and getting married, amen, praise the Lord, amen, you're no longer in fornication at that point. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is all right. Because the Bible said marriage is honorable and the bed undefiled. Amen. Marriage is an honorable thing. Amen. And the bed undefiled. Amen. But fornication is a dishonorable thing. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It said whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Amen. Praise the Lord. You, you don't want to die as a fornicator. You don't want to die in sin. No one in their right mind wish to die in their sins and lift up their eyes in hell. A burn in hell. Being in torments. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must repent. Amen. You must turn from sin. Amen. Ask God to give you godly sorrow to work repentance. Amen. The power, the strength, the mindset. Amen. The will. To turn from all your wicked ways. Amen. And God will do it. Amen. Because God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and be saved. Amen. God doesn't want you to die in your sins and go to hell. God wants to save you. Amen. But he will not impose upon your free will. Amen. You have a free will of choice. Amen. A right to choose. Amen. To willingly choose. You must willingly choose to serve God in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The Lord is good. So, we're still in John chapter 10. Amen. Pointing out the fact that, amen, praise God, Jesus Christ laid down his life. 
Amen. So John chapter 10. Amen. Verse 17. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man take it, take it, it from me. So he's saying, did no one take my life from me? Did no one take it from me? He said, no man taketh it from me. No man, no one. But I lay it down of myself. <coughs> I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. Amen. So pay close attention there. He said, no man take it from me. But I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. So he said, I have power to lay down my life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Become the Lamb of God. Amen. Allow them to crucify me on the cross. Amen. And I have power to take it up again. Amen. Raise it up again. Amen. On the third day. After three days and three nights. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He laid down his life. And after three days, he took it up again. Amen. Praise God. Rose again. Resurrected. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When the Bible says that God raised him again on the third day, amen, that was Jesus Christ raising his own body up on the third day because Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Praise the Lord. God made flesh. Amen. Praise God. That's what son means. God made flesh. Oh, that was God's very own flesh and blood image. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So he said, no man take of it from me, but I lay it down on myself. I have power. To lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Saying, of course, amen. You can read on. Amen. Praise God. He will basically let you know that he is the Father. Amen. John chapter 12. Amen. So John chapter 12, verse 44. Jesus cried and said, he that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. In other words, say, you're not believing on me, but you're believing on the Father. In verse 45, and he that seeth me, in other words, he, him, them that are looking at me, he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. Amen. So he said, you looking on me, you looking on the Father. Amen. You're looking on the person that sent me. I sent myself. Praise the Lord. That's what that meant. Praise God. That's exactly what Jesus was saying. Amen. You're looking at me. You're looking at the Father that sent me. Amen. Praise God. You believe on me. You're believing on the Father that sent me. You're looking on me. You're looking on the Father that sent me because I am the Father. I am my Father one. Amen. He said it in John chapter 10 verse 30. I am my Father one. You see me, you see the Father. Amen, because Jesus Christ is the Father. Amen, we know that he's the Son, and Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost, and Jesus Christ is only one. Amen, glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, there is only one God. Amen, hallelujah, and Jesus Christ is his name. Amen, you must believe on the name of Jesus Christ in order to be saved. You must repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And God will fill you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Excuse me. Amen. According to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Amen. And before we close, we will just turn there. Amen. So the book of Acts chapter 2. So Acts chapter 2, and we, we will just start at verse 34. Acts chapter 2, verse 34, and this is the apostle Peter preaching on the day of Pentecost. Just receive the Holy Ghost, by the way. He would just feel along with the, under, with the other 119 that were in the upper room with him. Amen. They received the Holy Ghost. We're filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. 
spoke in other tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance. Amen. Glory to God. And that's early on in this chapter. Amen. Of course, on your own time, you can read the entire, amen, chapter 2 of the book of Acts. Amen. So verse 34. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he say of himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit down on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God have made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. So both Adonai and Messiah. Amen. Glory to God. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? They were pricked in the heart. Amen. After hearing, praise God, the preached word of God, amen, by the Holy Ghost through the apostle Peter, amen, that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, amen, whom y'all rejected and hung on the tree. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> Say, men and brethren, what shall we do? We want to get this right. We want to get right. What shall we do to make this right? Amen. That's what they were asking, those who were pricked in their heart. Amen. What shall we do? Then Peter, verse 38, then Peter said unto them, amen, here's the answer, repent, amen, turn from sin, and be baptized, every one of you, amen, not, not, not only, amen, uh, only some of you today, amen, and 2,000 years ago in the first century, amen, and it doesn't matter no more today, amen, as the false prophets say, amen, that ain't for us today, that was just for them back then, amen, you better quit taking heed to them lies, amen, that the false prophet telling you, amen, it is for us today, amen, the word has to change, amen, Bible said, thy word, O Lord, is forever settled in heaven, amen, so praise the Lord. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. <clears throat> repent and be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So amen. Not title of Father, Son, Holy Ghost, but the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or the forgiveness or the removal, the washing away of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You repent of your sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You will likewise be resurrected. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just as Jesus was resurrected from the dead, amen, your spirit will likewise be resurrected from the dead. Amen. A new life, praise God. Become a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. With the old things being passed away. Amen. Behold, all things become new. Amen. Being washed, sanctified, justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Amen. So hallelujah. It's through the name and it's through the spirit. Amen. That you will be made a new creature in Christ Jesus. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Must be baptized in water in Jesus Christ's name after you have turned from your sins and repented. Amen. And you must be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Amen. With the evidence of speaking in new tongues as his spirit. Give the others. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off. Amen. Even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So even as many as, praise God, Adonai, our Elohim, shall call. Amen. And Jesus Christ is Adonai and Elohim. Praise God. And besides him there is none other. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. And we'll say the same thing today. Amen. Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen. Untoward, amen, means crooked, perverse. Amen. That is the definition of the word untoward. It's crooked, perverse. Amen. And we can, you can look around and see just how crooked and perverse this generation is. Amen. Praise God. 
You can just turn on the news and see just how bad it is and how bad it's getting. Amen. Wars and rumors of wars. Amen. Praise God. We, we got war going on in, in the United States of America. Amen. Praise God. A, a war. Amen. Praise God on lawlessness. Amen. You, you see more and more people. Amen. Having less of a regard for the law. Amen. For the natural law of this land. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But that's the word of God. Amen. Being fulfilled. Amen. It says that evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Amen. So things on this earth will not get better. It will only get worse and worse. Amen. Praise God. So until the Lord comes back the second time around, amen, this second coming, amen, and ruling nations with a rod of iron, amen, praise God, hallelujah. That's when it'll get better, when Jesus come back the second time. Amen. Hallelujah. He's coming back in the same way he went up. Amen. He's coming with clouds and every eye shall see him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Said, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convict all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Matter of fact, let's just go there. Amen. So that's in Jude. Amen. So the epistle of St. Jude. Amen. It's the Last little epistle right before you get to Revelation. So, uh, the epistle of St. Jude, verse 14. And Enoch also, the seven from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all. And to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Amen. More and more people blaspheme in the name of Jesus Christ today. Amen. Than ever before. You don't hear them blaspheme in the name of Muhammad, or blaspheme in the name of Buddha, or blaspheme in the name of Confucius. Amen. But they'll blaspheme the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What kind of devil spirit is that? Amen. Because the devil in them know that Jesus Christ is the true God. Amen. Fallen angels. Amen. They know, amen, who the true God is. Amen. Because they used to be up in heaven with them at one time before they were kicked out. Amen. In the war that occurred in heaven. Amen. They were kicked out by Michael the archangel. Amen. Praise God. And the other angels that fought with him. Amen. Against the devil and one third of the angels. Amen. That took the devil's side. Praise God. So, amen. So that's why, amen, they, they are blaspheming the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Use it as a curse word. Amen. Praise God. No respect for God at all. Amen. But praise God. But hallelujah. They, they wouldn't dare. Amen. Blaspheme Muhammad's name. Amen. Or Allah's name. Amen. So, you know, we're in the last days. Amen. But God, amen. Jesus Christ, amen. He is coming back. Amen. Rest assured that, amen. Praise God. And hallelujah. We don't know the day or the hour. The Bible says be ready against that day. Amen. He may come back. Amen. Praise God in the clouds. Amen. Or he may come back for you. Amen. To take you out of here. Amen. Require your soul. Amen. Whether you're ready or not. Amen. But you have a chance to get ready. Amen. Like the old saying, go ready or not, here I come. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ready or not. Amen. You will die one day. Ready or not, you will breathe your last breath on this earth. Amen. <clears throat> and the choice that you make will determine where will you spend eternity? Where will your everlasting, eternal soul spend eternity in? Amen. If you repent of your sins and be born again of the warden of the Spirit, obey Acts 2.38, amen, and continue in the apostles' doctrine and live a holy life unto death, amen, then hallelujah, you shall be, amen, with the everlasting Father. Amen. For everlasting eternity in his presence. Amen. In heaven. Amen. In the most excellent glory. But if you breathe your last breath 
Amen. And you have not obeyed this gospel. Amen. Died in your Baptist church or died in whatever false church that you're in or died in no church at all. Amen. Then you will end up in hell. Amen. Just like that rich man in Luke chapter 16. Read Luke chapter 16, beginning at the 19th verse. Amen. And that, praise the Lord, glory to God, amen, is what you can expect if you die in your sins. Amen. So we thank God, amen, for those of you who have, amen, tuned in, amen, streaming live, and those who are even, amen, catching the archive message today. <clears throat> amen. This is another, amen, live stream holiness broadcast of Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ. We are located in Houston, Texas. Amen. And I am a servant of the Lord, Minister James Eugene Manuel. Amen. And you can give me a call. My number is 832-360-5812. 832-360-5812. My email address is apostolicminister at att.net. That's apostolicminister at att.net. Our, our address, mailing address, is P.O. Box 15812, Houston, Texas, 77220. Amen. We have a YouTube channel. <clears throat> Amen. Uh, our YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash James Manuel 3. Amen. Our Facebook uh, page is uh, facebook.com forward slash Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. And our Twitter page is twitter.com forward slash Apostolic HCJC. Amen. And of course, uh, you see here we're on live stream and, and that's, uh, let's see here. Let's see, uh, new.livestream.com uh, forward slash, uh, ooh, I don't quite remember that one, but uh, yeah, amen. I think it's a very long title uh, on the live stream link, <clears throat> amen, but the Lord is good, and, uh, and, <clears throat> and for those of you who are not yet aware, uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, we do have two radio, bro radio broadcasts that airs. Uh, once a week, uh, if you're in or near the Houston area, amen, you can tune in uh, every Saturday, <clears throat> amen, on KWWJ 1360 AM, amen, and uh, radio broadcast time there is uh, 1.15 p.m. through 1.30 p.m. on Saturdays, so Saturdays from 1.15 to 1.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you can also, if you're uh, anywhere else other than the Houston area, or uh, you can tune in through their uh, website. They have a, a website on their radio station. That's kwwj.org or kwwj.org. And you can uh, listen live uh, on their radio station during that time. <clears throat> or uh, if you have a... Uh, smartphone, either Android or iPhone, you can download uh, the uh, app that's called TuneIn Radio, amen, and you can uh, listen that way by searching uh, KWWJ 1360 AM, and if you're in or near the Shreveport, Louisiana area, amen, on the AM dial, amen, you can uh, tune in, uh, we have a radio broadcast there uh, every Sunday, amen, so that's uh, K. K I O U 1380 AM, uh, Sunday mornings uh, between 9 30 AM to 10 AM. Amen. Central Standard Time. And you can also uh, tune in through their uh, website as well. Amen. Uh, if you're anywhere else uh, in the world, that's uh, wilkinsradio.com. And just click on uh, K I O U 1480 AM, Shreveport, Louisiana link. And uh, listen live. You know, click listen live and then click the KIOU 1480 and it will take you through uh, the streaming 
<clears throat> of that radio broadcast as well uh, on their radio station. And, uh, and so with that uh, being said, uh, we thank God for everyone. Amen. We thank God for, amen, those of you who have been supporting this ministry. Amen. We, amen, thank God, amen, for your contributions and support. Amen. And we pray and know that God will bless you for it. Amen. Because unlike the false prophet, I'm not up here, amen, telling lies and, amen, great swelling words of, man's wisdom, amen, to try to, amen, gather a big crowd, amen, praise the Lord, amen, we don't have much of a crowd at all right now, but i rather have a few people, amen, just a few souls that truly want to be saved and serve the Lord Jesus Christ with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength, and be obedient to his word, Amen. Hallelujah. That they can save their souls and make it out of this world alive spiritually. Amen. Praise God. Then to stand up and tell a bunch of lies or, amen, a bunch of inspirational messages, amen, that don't amount to nothing spiritually. Amen. Equivalent. Amen. Praise God of junk food. Amen. Something that tastes good, but, amen, you eat too much of it and not enough, amen, nutritional stuff to offset it. Amen. Going to do your body a whole lot of harm in the long run. Amen. So praise the Lord. That's equivalent to what, amen, these false prophets are. Amen. They, amen, praise God, can say a bunch of, amen, good sounding words, amen, and orations and speeches, amen. But praise God, folks still bound in sin, amen, still bound by lust, bound by drugs, bound by alcohol, Amen. Bound by pornography, bound by a whole lot of stuff. Amen. Just a menagerie of sinners. Just, amen, equivalent to a zoo. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I already have a few people that's living right. Amen. I have a mind to turn from their sins and live right. Amen. Then I have a, a building full of hypocrites. Amen. And religious, amen, fakers and imposters. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because it is holiness or hell. Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. That's Hebrews 12, 14. Amen. Praise God. So we believe in holiness here. We believe in the apostles' doctrine here. Amen. And you are welcome. Amen. If you're in near the Houston area, amen, you're welcome to come. Amen. And be among us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. As the Bible says, come down with us and we will do thee good. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You be a blessing to us. We be a blessing to you. Amen. And we rejoice in the God of our salvation together. So until our next broadcast, if it be the will of the Lord, amen, we ask that God bless you and keep you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord God. And we will now.